to be a good wrestler. You've got to be a good jiu-jitsu fighter. And you've got to be a good striker before you try to put it all together. And with the, the emergence of MMA, how MMA has changed over the last couple of years, have you changed how you teach the jiu-jitsu, or you still stay at, at, a, at a pretty, if you want, like by-the-book jiu-jitsu? Well, I think what changed in, in the MMA over the years that like before it would be like a, a challenge of uh, art, of, uh, of a different background, you know, exactly the fight. Uh, right now, it uh, obviously changed, so we, I think it may grew as a, as, a, as a new martial art, and then uh, where the fight has got to be good on, on everything. So I did not change, like, much the way uh, Jiu-Jitsu is, is, uh, is taught. And, like, I used to do the same. Uh, but, however, we, it depends on whether you're fighting MMA or sport Jiu-Jitsu, you need to adapt. Still do a jiu-jitsu competition, or you you only coach now? Um, I had a, like a serious injury a couple of years ago, so that uh, put me off some comp uh, the competition scene. But uh, this year, if uh, if I think goes well, uh, I'm probably going to be back. I miss it a lot. And uh, do you have some young prospects we should we should keep an eye on uh, that we might not know their names? <laughs> Well, uh, yeah, like I have some people in there. Like, uh, you mean on the for MMA or Jiu Jitsu? Well, both. Uh, one or the other. Some some people that are really that that get the Jiu Jitsu that uh, have that aspect of the game uh, higher than mm -hmm. other people, maybe. Yeah. Uh, I think for of my MMA uh, uh, students, you know, like uh, besides George Saint Pierre, of course, uh, I think Mike Rich is just growing. He's reduced a lot, uh, uh, and that reflects in his uh, 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 in his fights. Like he just signed uh, with uh, Bellator in the U.S., and then I think he's going to have quite a successful career down there as well. Uh, I have some young up and comers like uh, Alex that came from Dominica. He's training with me, and he's really explosive, uh, uh, and his jiu-jitsu is quite sharp as well. And then uh, Tom Watson that came from England, he used to train with Roger Gracie there, and then uh, he spent some time in Canada before his fight. And then uh, he has a really good guard, and I hope he, can, uh, he will be able to pull us to the mission. Uh, when somebody has a fight, do you, uh, do you take it like a one-on-one -on -one with him, and you, you might teach towards what the skills of your fighter has, or is it more of a general aspect that's going to be the same for every fighter? But uh, when when a student is preparing for a for a specific fight, like the training changes a bit. You know, like uh, we try to study the opponent. Like I try to to identify his strong points and uh, his weaknesses uh, as well. And then we plan our training uh, according to that. Okay. Uh, well, uh, let, let me see what Ken. If he has a couple of questions, Ken. Ah, oh, certain, mon ami. Euh, <rire> oh, euh, j'aimerais ça, euh, Fred, qu'on puisse discuter de son ouverture, sa grande ouverture qui aura lieu le 13 mars 2010. Euh, puis je sais qu'il va y avoir des invités euh, intéressants lors de cette soirée-là, euh, Fred. Alors, euh, euh, je vais te yes. laisser lui poser les questions. Yes, my co-host is telling me you're going to have a big uh, opening for your gym, I think, on the 13 of March. Yeah, indeed, the 13 of March is a Saturday, so that's the day that I set for the the grand opening of my school. And then uh, uh, I've had some guests uh, from New York and uh, other black belts you know, from the Gracie Baja family who will, will be in town as well. And uh, is it going to be open to the public for them to visit or to, to go see uh, what, is, uh, what is offered? <laughs> yeah, I mean, like to attend the seminar, we, we're charging a fee. But uh, for people that just want to come and, uh, and uh, visit the place and say hi, uh, everyone is invited to that. Do you want to give us uh, the address so everybody knows? Yeah, so the address of my school, and then uh, that's where the center is going to be. It's a 180 uh, PO, uh, suite to 110. 
OK, avant de terminer, Fred, j'aimerais ça qu'on lui parle de quelques combattants. Euh, peut-être un petit retour, ça, il ne sera peut-être pas enchanté, sur Rose Gracie, euh, dont sa dernière performance, ben, sa première également performance au UFC, qui a été, en tout cas, d'après moi, embarrassante. J'aimerais ça qu'on puisse parler de Roger Gracie, puis également du prochain combat de Renzo Gracie, qui est un de ses amis face à Matt Hughes. Yes, uh, Ken wanted to know if you had comments towards uh, Rose Gracie's performance at, at UFC 109, and also that... Uh, Ken also, uh, he, he is uh, pretty much of a jiu-jitsu uh, fan expert, if you want, and uh, he's a big fan of Roger Gracie, so he would also like to know your opinion of Roger Gracie. Yeah, like, uh, it was pretty unfortunate what uh, uh, the outcome of Holly's uh, first fight in UFC, like, he had been doing well before, like, uh, three, uh, three wins, like, by submission. Uh, unfortunately, he gets like it, there's not much of an explanation for that. I didn't have a chance to talk to him yet, but uh, he certainly did not perform uh, uh, as well as he could. So regarding uh, Roger Gracie, like I think every jiu-jitsu fan nowadays should be a fan of him. You know, like uh, he's showing the basic uh, old school jiu-jitsu and has been able to, to dominate uh, pretty much every competition that uh, uh, he went to. Do, do you uh, think in kind of him as well. do you think in the young Gracies that Roger Gracie might be the one with the most potential or? Uh, I wouldn't say potential. Like uh, he already proved that uh, he he has success when uh, how good he is. And uh, regarding like all the new Gracies, like uh, there's a new there's a, another generation uh, coming. Like have uh, Eagle Gracie and Grabber Gracie in uh, in New York. That uh, that are rising stars as well. The grabber just got third in the last Abu Dhabi. And what about Renzo? Are you going to be working with him for his fight with uh, Matt Hughes, or have you talked with him uh, concerning his fight with Matt Hughes? Yeah, like I had the chance to see him uh, uh, in December when he came for Eagles fight uh, in Ottawa, and uh, uh, we talked about it. And he's really excited about uh, his come back to the UFC. Especially to to face uh, Matt Hughes, uh, um, I'm looking for that fight a lot. <laughs> do Do you think that the uh, the the fact that he's a little bit inactive in the la last couple of years in MMA is gonna hurt him or? No, I don't. I don't think he'll have that kind of thing. You know, he's too experienced for that. <laughs> But uh, uh, regards like uh, being uh, out of the. the Competition seems a bit. Uh, uh, so from what I've heard, like he's doing pretty well doing training, and like he already lost a lot of weight, and like uh, he's back in shape, and he even practices like with other uh, UFC fighters from his camp, like Frankie Edgar, Ed, uh, Edgar, and then uh, uh, from what I've heard, he's doing pretty well. And uh, have you had the chance to to work with the, the Diaz brother? Uh, no, no. I like the jiu-jitsu, but I never had the chance to work with them. What is, a, for fun, do you think Nick Diaz is a, a top fighter? Uh, I mean, he, he, he's definitely a good fighter, you know, like uh, not so experienced. But uh, um, I like his style, you know, really aggressive. And then, like, I think he's on the right track. Okay. Uh, Ken, do you have any other questions? Oh, c'est complet pour moi, mon garçon. Okay. Well, uh, thank you very much, Bruno. Uh, we appreciate all the time you gave us. Uh. Oh, sounds great. So thanks for the opportunity for being here. It's a pleasure. Well, thank you very much, and we hope you uh, best of luck for you, your new gym on Peel Street. What's the address again? <laughs> so it's uh, 180 Peel Street, Suite uh, 110. Like all the details can be checked at our website, uh, uh, GracieBarmontreal.ca. Okay, perfect. We'll put the, the uh, web address also in the interview. Sounds good. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Have a good night. You too. Bye-bye.